Hey guys, it's Daniel with Boss C351 Productions. Today we're working on a 2014 Ford Flex. Now in this particular Ford Flex, the owner neglected to maintain the battery terminals, which ended up corroding and eating up the entire positive battery terminal and deadlining the vehicle. The vehicle wouldn't start. The, also, the vehicle was not getting any battery power. What I'm going to show you today is how to replace that part with a new Ford part. And I'm going to show you how to prevent this in the future. Also, I'm going to show you a walk around just in case this does happen to you and your vehicle is deadlined and how you can get it back on the road pretty quickly while you're waiting for the new part to come in. Okay, the next thing you're going to have to do terminal off before you take the positive and that takes a 10 millimeter socket and on the positive side it is also a 10 millimeter socket but on ours since I had to do a workaround I'm gonna have to use 11 millimeter wrench next we're gonna unplug this connector from the positive terminal assembly by depressing this tab and pulling out. Also, we're going to take this wire loose. This is also a 10 millimeter. Make sure you do not drop the nut. Then on the underside, you have another 10 millimeter. Make absolutely sure we do not drop this bolt or we're gonna be fishing for it for a long time. And lastly, you have one more connector on the bottom. Get to reach the underside of it to depress another tab to get it to come out. There it is. That is the old assembly. Now what you're going to do on your old assembly is you're going to take a screwdriver or something and get under these three tabs and unhook them. And then you have additional tabs here on the side here and on this end and what you're going to do is you're going to take unhook all those tabs pull this plastic piece here off and all it is is just a cover and once you get that off this whole assembly here comes right out of this plastic unit it just slides out there's nothing else that holds it and essentially what you're going to have is something like this now this is the assembly I rigged up in order to be able to start and make the vehicle run. Now these here, you can find at any Walmart, uh, pretty much any O'Reilly's, uh, they're in the battery section. And this is what the assembly looks like. Should come with a bolt, nut. Uh, you, have, you may or may not have to drill out this hole here to make it a little bit bigger to get that bolt that comes with this through to be able to bolt it down. 
So once you get that bolted down, the next thing you're going to have to do is take your old assembly and you're going to have to trim all this plastic out right here. Don't worry about destroying it or making it flimsy because you're going to have a new unit on its way after you do this and get your vehicle ready. You can see the difference. You'll have to cut all that out because this is a whole lot longer than what comes in the unit from factory. So once you do that, we're going to take our modified plastic housing and we're going to put the assembly back together. So it just fits right back in there. And we're going to take the plastic cover and we're going to snap it back on. Now you have a working workaround so you can put it back on the vehicle and your vehicle will power up and will run while you're waiting for the part to come in. Then once your part comes in, we're going to put it back together. Put it back on the terminal. And put this other cable back on. Tighten it down. And then tighten down the positive terminal lock that locks it on the battery post. And then you have it installed. Next, we want to put our negative terminal back on and tighten this lock down. And now the vehicle has a brand new positive battery terminal, and the vehicle should start and power up as normal. Now to prevent this issue later down the road, uh, Walmart sells this NCP2 battery corrosion preventative. They also sell it in a big can at Walmart. So you take some of this and just spray it on the terminal. And that will reduce and stop battery corrosion. And then close the little door on it. And that's how you replace the positive terminal on a 2014 Ford Flex. This also applies to some of the newer and older Ford Flexes, as well as the Edge and some Ford Explorers. Now, this part is not available at your local parts house. Uh, Napa, Parts uh, Plus, uh, Riley's, any of the, the national parts chains do not carry this particular part. Uh, you'll have to go to your local Ford house and turn they do not sell the part I showed you how to install. They'll sell you the part plus the wiring harnesses that go with it. And last priced, it was $230. This is Daniel with Boss C351 Productions. I thank you for watching my videos. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel. And normally, I have all these parts available down in the video description. 
if you'll click some of the links, it'll take you to places where you can purchase these parts and purchase them normally cheaper than you can buy at Ford or other parts uh, dealers around the United States. Again, thank you for watching my videos.